All right, Halos, welcome back. We are back in um, Hogwarts Legacy once again. It's been a quick minute since I played last, but uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff going on. We've got our inventory I actually haven't looked at yet as well. It doesn't look like we've really gotten anything, but we've got a bunch of different stuff. Challenges as well. And then the maps, of course, field guide pages. We've got some of those already, so that's good. But yeah, well, let's jump back in. <clears throat> um, Revelio. I think... Lumos. Yeah, there's this. <laughs> He said something about serious black, I think. Or maybe just black, I don't know. Anyways, I'm not sure who that is, but anyways, um, let's see if we can find... Oh, he's gone. Alright. It's kind of interesting to see that. Um, we gotta find that place. <clears throat> I guess we could go through that door if we wanted to, but I want to quickly check, see if I can find wherever that is, because I'm not sure, actually. Um, doesn't look like this area at all. Let's see if we can find out where that is exactly. Seems to be almost like a library of sorts. Uh, what's through here exactly? Oh, we've got the main hall, okay. Well, let's go ahead and discover this real quick. Great hall, yep. Blue flames. Oh, wait, it's this, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> hello. Revelio! Page 2. Nice. Uh, so this is the part where the witch, from which the great headmistresses and headmasters of Hogwarts enchanted lectern. Professor Black, okay. And then I think Lumos. this is our buddy right here. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. We'll uh, we'll definitely check out all this stuff um, in the future. I don't want to spend too much time here, but let me get this first and put it back here. Rebellion. Gonna give us another page, right? Yep. Hey, we got eight of eight. Sweet. You have uncollected rewards available in the challenges menu. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's check out, take a look at that then, real quick. Uh, challenges. Here we go. Um, oh, okay. Got Hogwarts Regalia spectacles. Um, Hogwarts Regalia gloves. Regalia hat. Uh, zero of fifteen. Oh, okay, so we need. A bunch for all of that stuff. Okay, so I guess it's just mostly cosmetic stuff for that. Either way, um, I definitely wanted to check some of it out anyway. But let's go ahead and head, without further ado, go ahead and head into the, uh, the area we need to go to find um, <clears throat> our main quest. I believe this is what we are going for. We have to do dark arts and charms. <clears throat> so yeah, let's go ahead and go to see the Accio Leviosa. Let's do Accio first. So we'll do the Charms class. Let's go ahead and find where that is. So it looks like it wants us to go through here and down this direction and then out here. Is this outside? Yeah, sure is. Hello everyone. <clears throat> Don't mind me. I'm just chilling. A lot of stuff here actually. I wonder if there's any stuff I'm missing <laughs> while I'm just blazing through. That's oh, I guess I'm here, right? Oh no, never mind. Lumos. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Oh, what are these? Interact. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Got some stuff. Some sort of puzzle, it seems. All right. Anyways, let's continue to head this direction. We've got a chest here somewhere. Oh, it's all the way down there. Oh. Oh, wait. Does this change anything? Doesn't seem to. Okay. Oh, I'm sure there's some sort of uh, thing there, but either way. Let's, let's continue on towards the Charms class. <clears throat> Alright, I think we were in here just the other... Just a little while ago. Revelio. Hello, everyone. Nothing above us, right? Look at that dude. Alright. Um, oh, wait, sorry. I missed one of the doors, it looks like. Wants us to go up? Oh, okay. Must be through here, it looks like. There we go. Let's check it out. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a pretty cool place, though, for real. 
would very much like to, uh, to explore everything. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do some of the main story and then see if we can do some side stuff after that. Oh, hello. Hello, friends. Just flying around. Alright, Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. Nice. That's always useful. Uh, oh, sorry. It wants to go through here. Okay. Hello. Anything interesting in here? There's a cat. Eddie Cleaver. Hey buddy, how you doing? I thought it was going to give me a quest actually. Uh, who was yelling? Revenue. Uh, a page? No, okay. Just wondering. Um, well, that's pretty cool. It's not a page? No? Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> Let's continue on. Professor uh, Ren intends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the Being lesson. A bit nostalgic about leaving one day. All right. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and begin the quest, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right. Accio, here we go. We're gonna find it. All right. <clears throat> That is Thanks. not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! <laughs> After me. Alright. Roll loading screen here real quick. Got some large type of maybe fish beast? I don't know. <clears throat> ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> oh, 
So why don't we have our new students start us off? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Akio. That's it! Echoes to the best of us. My bad. Splendid! Let's go with this, I guess. Let's try Very there. good! Oh, Not to worry. Dang. It's like just pulled. Very good! Off. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! Okay, a lot on the line here. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see this. Is Akira to summon the ball as close? As yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't lose your composure. Yeah. Dang. That is how it does. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we're probably gonna lose here, but it's fine. Come on. Oh, that was too much, I think. Eh. It hit the other ball, I guess that works. Excellent, good work. Damn, alright. Well, uh, I think I lose either way, but it's fine. Oh, oh let's go. Well done. Nice. Got a 50 at least. Summoner's Court winner. Can I try again? That was my first time. <laughs> Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Okay. Interesting. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. Um. Uh... Ooh, that was a little too hard, I think. Oh, no, that worked. <clears throat> Let's go. Splendid! Let us see this. Hit us the other there. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Come on. Oh no, I didn't time it. Wait. Oh, it worked. It's fine. Let's go. Quite impressive. Thank you. What's this? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, it's too soon. No. Wait, it's fine. I think. Yeah, let's go. Perfect score. Remarkable. Thank you. I learned quick. <laughs> hey, that's what we like to see. <clears throat> Very good, both of you. Well done. Alright, another loading screen. Probably take us out of that game. <laughs> Target lock, caps lock. Effective tool against any enemy you want to combo or otherwise find difficult to track. 
Pass is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Thanks. <clears throat> Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. <clears throat> I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Okay, uh, I didn't re hear how she pronounced this. How big is Wagadu? Is Wagadu much bigger than Wagadu? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Really? But right. it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Interesting. Never heard of this place. Uh, what does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Uh, is magic the same at Wagadu? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Interesting. Uh, that's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you for telling me, telling me about Wagadu. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better oh. not keep him waiting. Alrighty. Until next time. See you later. <clears throat> of course, uh, all right. you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. <laughs> Rebellion! All right. Akio! Akio now. How do we know what we're selecting with Akio there? Oh, hello. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So yeah, it looks like you do aim it to select stuff. All right. Probably shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> uh, it wants us to talk to them, but it looks like we can talk to these people as well. So I kind of want to do that. As well. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Is there anything up in the sky we can grab? Seems like the most obvious place we should grab stuff from. I think we're okay though. All right, uh, let's talk to... After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> All right, and then... Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. <laughs> Dang. All right, respect. I understand. A word, if you would. Yes, absolutely. Uh, what's up there, by the way? Is that your quarters or something? All right, let's uh, let's talk to him, I guess. <clears throat> you wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Ooh, okay. Sounds good. Oh, attend your first class. Nice. Got Achiever. 
little achievement. All right, cool. Um, I mean, I guess I could could Accio everything, but probably not a good idea. Anyways, uh, what is up here if, if we are allowed? Oh, it's a lock. Okay, so yeah, it's probably his quarters. Probably shouldn't go in there, really. All right, well, that's that done, at least. Rebellion. What do we got? Hello. How was your first day coming along? Oh, hey, how's it going? Hello, Samantha. <coughs> nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Um, that's kind of you to say. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Alright, is there anything else of use in here? There's no like secret stuff we can grab from here. <laughs> Seems to be a chest above me. Uh, what else we got around here? Oh, another cat. You know what? I'll go ahead and pet one more. And then we'll kind of explore a little bit, and I think we'll do the, the next class in the next video, probably. Uh, cool Lumos. Oh, we got another cat over here, actually. Can spin that bad boy, nice. Can't cast that there, can we? No. Okay. Right. Revelio. Oh, we do have a chest here. Nice. Plaid vest, school uniform. All right. What is this? Oh, is it a flu flu? Yeah, it looks like it. Lumos. The minister for magic was Albert Boot. No, Revelio. <gasps> oh, Lumos. Oh, fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fun! Fight! It's a bold attack! Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't Achille. keep the flag. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flag. Peeves, enough! You'll get us all detention. <sighs> oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It was a boot and it oh, wasn't flag. Don't do that. But you're all in That's trouble not necessary. with Professor Flack. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, we have another one of these door puzzles. Should we try to do it again? Uh, oh shoot, I hope I remember what it is. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's a locked door. Okay, we don't want to do that. Well, let's uh, let's try it, shall we? Uh, so, three plus zero plus something adds, has up to five, right? So, obviously two. So zero, one, two. So that should be. Uh, should be this one, yeah. So zero, one, two should be that. Yep. And then this is gonna be four plus one. So five plus what equals twelve? Uh, seven. Wait. Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. So we need zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that little thing. That should be it. Yes, nice. Good stuff. Right. Rebellion. Got in here. Chest. A Neasel statue. And then, what's this? Decorous midday school uniform. Alright, cool. Interesting looking place. I guess that's it for in here, though. Alright. Uh, level one lock, which you can't mess with anyway, I don't think. Or you might be able to, but I'm not sure. Haven't tried it yet. Um, what else? Oh, hello. Can we get that? Oh. Oh. Wait, how do I get that? Rebellio. Akio. How do we get that? Mm, I'm missing a lot at least. Lumos. Is there a way to get that right now? Huh. Oh, 
Oh, you have to lock on to it, I think. Okay. Gotcha. Either that or I was just missing. Revenue. Sweet. Well, we got that field page at least. Good. Oh, I'm carrying a book as well. Nice. Um, hello. What's all this then? What we got up here? Um. Oh, hello. Anything behind here? Oh, it's it's moving, right? Oh, dang. R.I.P. Revelio. Anything in here that we should grab? Seem like it. What's this? Nothing. Pretty cool though. For sure. Um, what we got up here? Some astronomy stuff? Cool. Definitely oh, astronomy nice to tower. See you, my young friend. Yeah, thank you. You too. Um, what we got over here? Pick up this. Oh! Oh my goodness. A lot. Excuse me, this is a lot of reading. Um, alright, I guess we'll go through it. Uh, my dear Satyavati, maybe? Uh, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had, had in fact, been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer, astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, correspondence I did feel that I had to continue using the uh, pseudonym from my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Manar Mantar. What an adventure we will have. Or we shall have. I miss you, dear sister. Miss you. And do hope you are well. With love, Sukrita? Something like that. Alright. What is this? Rebellion. I'm assuming we need a lockpick or something. Go ahead and Accio some stuff. Oh! We can Accio this? Nice! That's cool. <laughs> oh my goodness, we can attack it as well. Alright. Uh, anyways. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, uh, <laughs> to cause a stir. Um, alright, we well, got astronomy stuff, but I think, I think we're good here, actually. Go ahead and spin that for fun. Uh, I think without further ado... Oh, is there anything here? What's up this way? This doesn't seem like somewhere we should be going. We're allowed to go. Oh, maybe this is a student here. We're quite fortunate the school's so close to Hogsmeade. There's nothing like it in all of Britain, you know. About the only place that doesn't come with the risk of encountering a muggle. Anyone fancy going to Brood and Peck with me? I've been wanting to go for ages. My friend said they have very high quality feathers, and I need one for my job and all. Can't remember why. If I had to pick one shot, it'd be glad rags. Mr. Hill is always very helpful, don't you find? My aunt says I should get to Hogsmeade as often as I can. Says it's good to get out of the castle sometimes. My friends and I lose track of the time whenever we're at three broomsticks. Nearly missed exams one year, we were so engrossed in our butter beers. The last time I was at Dogweed and Death Cap, Madame Green had everything from Disney seeds to shrivel fakes. Just be careful not to upset her, though. Well, she might set a venomous tentacular on you. Alrighty then. Revelio. What else do we have in here? Oh, hello. Lumos. Where is this one then? Um, some type area of astronomy for sure. Could be around here. Revelio. Peeves is trying to. Re oh. Race, trying to race. Uh, is it up here, perhaps, or is it somewhere else? Aha, yes. This looks like it. Is. Lumos. Is this guy anywhere? Hello. How you doing? Um, I guess it's not quite that one. Cause I don't see it. Aha, maybe here. Revelio. Yes, this looks Lumos. Great. Rebellion. Yep, there it is. Hey, hello. Take 
very much. Astronomy Telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the nice night sky. Sweet. More HP. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab this guy. And he can come on down with me. I think after we finish this up right now, and then we will go ahead and end the episode there. So, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and see what we can we can get from this. Rebellion. Page, right? Guide page. Cool. There we go. Three of fifteen. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Like I said, this, so that's going to be wrapping it up for today. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and edit here, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. See you later. Oh, it's a different one. Interesting. All right, peace.